Hello. I will not uh, speak about brain cancer today. I choose to present you a different approach of the cancer description that I hope you will find inspiring. So, what does mechanics have to do with cancer? These two words are not often associated. What we think about biology or genetics first, not mechanics. What I want to say is only that the cancer has any, as every natural phenomenon is submitted to the law of physics. And 10 years ago, there was an urgent call to find new ways, different ways to fight cancer. And mechanics could be one of them. So the cancer is a multi-scale disease, it's a common thinking, and mechanical stress apply at multiple scales. What is mechanical stress? It's the reaction of an object when you apply pressure on it, when you want to deform it, to crush it, it will react by stress. It is the same in psychology. If you apply pressure on an individual, it will react by stress. You can remember this. And I will present you three examples at three scales on how mechanics influence the cell behavior, the cancer evolution. You see here four cell sculptures. These are healthy cells. And the four cultures were stopped at the same time. They have the same time to grow. But you see as the environment becomes stiffer, the behavior of the cells are changing. They become more proliferative. Their shape are changing. And the characteristic integrin and cathedrin are very important cancer marker. As you see, in a compressive environment, healthy cells start to begin like cancerous cells. They become proliferative. They change their shape. But this stiffness, 1.2 kilopascal is not so high. Can we try at 60 kilopascal? You see a tumor aggregate this time within a capsule and elastic gel. Mm, maybe it works, maybe not. Okay, it was a video. So the tumor cells will grow and at some point will reach the capsule diameters. And at this point, there will be a mechanical fight between the tumor aggregates that want to grow and this capsule with a high stiffness of 60 kilopascal. We know very well the material property of this capsule. And from the deformation, we can measure the force exerted by the tumor cells and their changing of behavior. And at some point, the growth will be impaired by this high mechanical stress. But be sure, inside the capsule, these cells are very malignant. As a gender equality is important for me, I think after the breast surgery, I can speak a little about the prostate cancer. So it was a question for a long time for the surgeon. Why some men with a benign disease, prostate hyperplasia, have a higher survival rate in prostate cancer? how this benign disease and deadly disease can interact together. The team of Guillermo Lorenzo proposed these two simulations, retrieving a patient geometry, with two scenarios. The first, a normal patient with prostate cancer. Second, the patient have a prostate hyperplasia. What happened? The hyperplasia, the enlargement of the prostate, prescribe a higher stiffness of the tissue, a higher mechanical stress environment, which impede the growth of the tumor cells. But as I said before, these cells are very malignant. And if this patient is treated for this benign disease, but we didn't diagnose the prostate cancer, it will die very quickly. So it's an important clinical matter. I hope this, for example, have raised your interest on this kind of approach in cancer, and I will be, it will be a pleasure to answer your question, present you the current emerging clinical application with our partner. Thank you very much.